Well, good Monday morning to you. We are loading up a couple of these bald cypresses. And I got a few more container trees to get. And then I'm off to Mobile. I got to go to Mobile, come back through Foley, Alabama, and then stop in Pensacola and pick something up. So that's what's going on. All right. This is... Day is this? I think it's Tuesday. Uh, I just did a quick little trip into Pensacola and uh, dropped some stuff off in a little uh, a little nursery by Joe Patty Seafood. Now I'm back and I'm on the little Kubota here and I've got a four foot hog behind me I'm cutting up so it's finally that time again that I can come back to the farm and cut because I like cutting. I enjoy cutting. So that's what's going on right now, and uh, I'll bring you along a little bit uh, later when I get out into some bigger areas, and I'll show you a little bit what I'm doing out there with this little guy, and we'll see what the rest of the week brings. I just want to point out I'm in uh, St. Andrews, which is uh, just inside uh, Panama City, and if you look over here, this place is still tore up. You got Mercy Chefs over here, and people are lined up. You can see the line uh, right there. People are lined up to get food. Uh, this is several weeks. See the roof all messed up. So this is, well, I mean, this is several months after the hurricane uh, came through here and devastated the area. And these people, there, there's a lot of people that still don't have housing. See, that was a grocery outlet right over here. It's missing. Um, now I could be wrong on this, but I heard that the government funding has run out over here in Panama City, and these people are just, I mean, they're still living in tarps, a lot of people, I mean, literally living in tarps, I don't mean tarps on their house, yeah, there's plenty of tarps on buildings, but I mean, they are living in tents and whatever else, and this is spring break capital over here panama city florida well panama city beach would be but um, you know and it's tourist season and tourists are flooding in here but goodness gracious they need people to flood in here to help out that's what they need so if you all know any uh big time donors i'm sure there's a lot of organizations here in panama city that could use uh, the funding and uh the helping hand to get things going again so uh, I'm just coming down here to drop some trees off and uh, I saw the people out there and so I thought that I would uh, film a little bit and uh, show you what's going on here so you can see some roofs and stuff. I know it's hard to see when I'm driving a truck down here and it's going by so fast but there's a roof caved in over here a little bit. Still trash on the side of the road. So, all right, let me jump off here. I gotta make a turn up here. So, we'll see you in just a bit. So, I'm just off of 13th Street here in Panama City. And what you're looking at is just some of the damage, some of the trees knocked down, twisted up. You see the buildings with the blue tarps and missing roof. And this is just, I'm in the back of somebody's compound here, but I'll kind of pan around here it's normally the sky is full of trees and that's what we're missing here mostly on this side of the uh, this side of the storm this was the west side it just knocked them down son but that's just a little bit and if I can find some more on my way out I'll show it to you and if not we'll catch it on another video I'm down here all the time so good morning it's Thursday and I'm over here in a newer neighborhood, if you can see that house in Molino, Florida, not too far from where I work. Just unloading a few trees. Looks like bushes back here, but that's what's going on right now. Uh, it's the only run I've got for the day so far, so I'll probably be on a tractor later, but I'll bring you along. Well, it's afternoon, like I said, when I got back. Today, let's see, this is Thursday afternoon. I've got stuff hanging all in me. 
I uh, got back today and I jumped on this little uh, Kubota tractor with a four foot bush hog. It's a L2050 is the model number. And uh, I've been, I don't know if you can see it over here. I, I guess you can. If you can, uh, let's see, look back in here. There's a small rows, four foot rows. There's probably a hundred of them. And I've just been going up and down, up and down, up and down. But right now I'm taking a little break in the shade. Uh, I've got about two more hours left. And I'll be heading to the house. So let's see what else we can get into. Well, welcome to Friday morning. This could have been a much better uh, picture right here with the sun coming up. But uh, look up in the sky. What do you see? Ah, uh, yeah, that's chemtrails. What do you think? Isn't that awful? If you ever follow an airplane in the sky, you'll see these... Well, you won't see these. You'll see the exhaust coming off the engines or, or water vapor at the high speeds, but it only lasts for so far behind the airplane. This right here is staying up there. So, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, what this is. And that's something. Hopefully the day will get better and we won't die of some type of a poisoning, so... Hang around, we'll see what's going on Friday. All right, Saturday's lunch. Brought to you by El Paso. Pretty cool. What's up, Toby? Toby's sporting the, uh, I don't remember what you call that shirt now. But he's got him a twig. Look at it. He's got a ponytail. People think he's a little girl. But he's not. He just got long hair. So. That's today. A little horchata. A little agua. Uh-oh, buddy. What are you ordering, son? Cool. All right, that neat. I got a garage door, I guess. In the summertime, they can open it if they wanted to. It might just be for looks, but they got them all the way around inside here. Pretty cool. 